You're watching KTN Prime. Thank you for staying with us. Let's pick the minds of some of our leaders on a one-on-one uh, segment and cord. Uh, core principal Moses Otangula is accusing the Jubilee administration of disregarding the emotive, unresolved, historical land problem in the country. According to Otangula, the Ministry of Lands is also suppressing the Independent Lands Commission. Speaking to KTN's Aaron Ochieng, Otangula further accused the Jubilee government of introducing draconian laws through the Security Amendment Act 2014. Here's part one of that interview with Moses Otangula. How has it been for you in the opposition? There is nothing as important as being an alternative voice and saying things different from uh, the conventional way of looking at things. As opposition, we are government in waiting, we are the alternative leadership. And uh, on many issues where we do not agree, we see and uh, and uh, philosophize, as it were, on how best we can do better than what the others are doing. A few days ago, Senator, you were on record accusing the Jubilee Alliance of uh, several issues. But what came out uh, very strongly was the land issue. Uh, what is your view on the way the Jubilee government is handling land matters? The Jubilee government deliberately, knowingly and willfully, have subjugated the National Land Commission into a scarecrow. It is there with its constitutional authority and power, but totally dysfunctional. The minister has taken every twist and turn to make the National Land Commission look like a nuisance around the block. And uh, all the issues uh, that we're seeing uh, happening within the docket of land are more activities of the executive uh, than uh, the National Land Commission. Look at, for example, uh, the unilateral closure of uh, the registries of land in Nairobi, in Mombasa, in Malindi. What was the excuse? The minister told Kenyans she was going to streamline the management of the registry so that no file will ever go missing, records will be readily available, and any Kenyan who walks into the land's office for a search will take minutes and you are out with the information you want. A month later, the 134 current land problem comes up and the minister horrifies Kenyans by appearing before a committee of parliament and says she cannot trace the records of this land. Then why did she close the registry? Look at the question of, uh, of, of, of Taita Taveta renewal lease of the land belonging to the president's family. The chairman of the National Land Commission announced, so we saw in the media, he hasn't said he was misquoted, that uh, not only land belonging to the family had been uh, renewed in terms of lease, then uh, much later he turns up and says no, no lease was renewed. Then he adds on uh, saying, I'm not even sure whether it was renewed. Do you think there is a big name behind all this? We suspect who the name behind those names are and we wait for her to tell us. It's her duty. And you remember the president, her boss, told her that Kenyans want to know who is grabbing the school playground. It is the seeds, yes, according to her. Well, who, do you believe her? <laughs> I don't. Many Kenyans don't. You're also on record as having accused uh, the speaker of being one-sided. Yes. Uh, what is the way forward to this security bill? When that bill was published, we raised public alarm that this was a law that was going to reverse the gains under the new constitution. We raised an alarm that this was a total reversal of the Bill of Rights and in fact it was attempting to amend the Constitution through a bill in the National Assembly. We have been vindicated to that extent. And uh, when I sought to recall the Senate to debate, uh, uh, the, you saw the bizarre manner in which the Speaker of the Senate handled the matter and uh, I think I put my feelings on record and it remains a record that uh, uh, the conduct was uh, skewed, was partisan, and was unsatisfactory, uh, and amounted to truncating debate before it took place, and uh, that was in keeping with uh, what we thought was the philosophy of our opponents in uh, trying not to have our voice heard by blocking us from speaking, so to speak. But uh, the court of public opinion is never, uh, is never dormant. It has made its uh, observations on the matter, but more importantly, the courts of law 
are seized with the matter and uh, the case starts for hearing on Wednesday. Let's let to the courts to decide.